morning. Happy Sunday. My kids just left and headed back to Arkansas and I am not ready for church, so I'm just gonna have to wing it today. Um, so my caption is regarding um, a wet or dry uh, blenderful. So the makeup sponge. And my hairstylist and I talked about that yesterday, the benefits of using a sponge and using and it absorbing your makeup and wasting it versus using a wet one and it not um, wasting your makeup, absorbing it and wasting it. So, I uh, just thought I would do a little demo. So this is my personal blenderful and this is a brand new one that's never been used. So you can see that it's brighter yellow. It's a little smaller. Mine is still dry, but that's a little bit smaller, a little more firm. Um, and when you wet it, it's gonna move around your face without dragging and pulling on your skin. And so it's gonna give you a more natural look and not drag your skin and pull your skin and uh, not damage it, but just have the gravity effects. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to wet the sponge, so you can see this, without dropping the phone. So I'm just wetting it, and squeezing it out, and get it good and wet and then squeeze out just as much water as you can. Okay. All right, I am actually going to move the phone off this tripod and onto my Ricky. doesn't fall. Okay, so now there is the wet blenderful and you see how much bigger it is and it's it's a lot less firm than this brand new blenderful. So if I were to wet this brand new one, it would fluff up like this one and then it will go on, it will spread your makeup and, and move your makeup around your face in a much nicer way and a more natural look. Um, so this is a little mesh bag for you to keep your wet blenderful in and lets it dry out, air dry, and not hold bacteria. Of course you need to wash it, but uh, you put it back in its little cage, you put it back in its little box and have that on hand if anybody needs one. But so there's that, and I will just show you quickly how I start to put on my foundation. I know, hey, good morning, Alyssa. Uh, let's see, let me get some light going here. All right, so there's the Wet Blenderful. Here is my foundation. I know some of you have seen me do this before. I've got concealer down here. This is my foundation with a little dab of must-do facial oil, and I just really like the way that applies when I mix it with the must-do and then use that damp, blenderful sponge. So I just mix that around and then just start dotting it on my face. And then I will put the blenderful right into that so I'm just going to get some on there and then just start dotting it and it just bounces so nicely and spreads. Um, okay, don't look at my awful hair. And you can just get it on there and moved around but without dragging your skin. And you don't have to because it just bounces right on there and gives you coverage. 
Now, I already had a little bit of concealer on my nose, but I will go back and do a little bit more because my nose is always red, and then do the concealer under my eyes. But really, it's as simple as that. Just using that wet or damp, not wet. You can use, squeeze it out, and that's it. You're just bouncing it, and then you can turn it around and get into those tight spaces in beside your eye, beside your nose, just whatever works for you. But that's just a really good way to evenly get your makeup without spreading it with your fingers. And very little, okay, that came off my finger, very little of that makeup has gone into the sponge. Um, let's see, I'll show you the comparison to the fresh one. And obviously, I've been using this for months. So there's the fresh one, and you see how much smaller that is? And it's very dense right now. So, I mean, some people use it dry, but I would recommend using it damp, and then it doesn't absorb your makeup. And you can use that with your liquid makeup or use our foundation um, straight out of the pan or mix it with the must-do, but it's really just as simple as that. And then if you don't get enough coverage, you can go in with either more foundation or add concealer. So since I've got a little bit more left in my dish, I'll just go ahead and see how much of my red nose I can cover up with that. Okay, it's hard to look in the phone and see what I've done, so I'm trying to look around it on the mirror. I could keep doing this all day long, trying to get get it to where I look like a 20-year-old, but that's not going to happen. I wonder why. So, there you have it. So, there's my demo of the Blenderful. If you're interested in more information about it, I'll let me know, and I will send you the information. Um, the only other thing I'll say about it is it is non-latex. So, if you have a latex allergy, this might be the thing for you. What you buy in the store, I don't know. I don't know if you can get non-latex. I assume you can. And I have used some of these little tiny ones that I've gotten at um, TJ Maxx. Don't know what they're made of, but it's the same principle. I wet them, squeeze them out, and go into the little tiny spots. But I really I haven't used them in a really long time because that pointed part of the blender full just really does the job. All right, I'm going to call it quits. Y'all have a great Sunday, and I will see you again soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you have watched, if you would, let me know that you've watched by saying hello. Or if you watch the replay, put in replay or number two or just something, um, some kind of an emoji or something. All right, y'all have a great Sunday. Wrap up your weekend and have a great week, and I will be back again soon. Thanks. Bye.